Uh, University of Washington rowing team drifting into the history books with an unlikely gold medal in the controversial 1936 Olympics in Berlin. It's a story that became a best-selling book called The Boys in the Boat, now a major studio film set to open in theater. So this weekend, that historic event came to life on Lake Union as members of the UW rowing team piloted the Husky Challenger, a reproduction of the original Husky Clipper from its home on Mott Lake to the Museum of History and Industry. To become a successful rower, you have to learn to be one with a boat. And these boys obviously showed it very well. Boatmaker George Pocock built the Husky Clipper and a slew of other winning shells for teams that won Olympic gold in 1948 and 1952. He is the namesake of Seattle's Pocock Rowing Center. Fox 13 also spoke to George Rance's granddaughter. Rance is the main character of Boys in the Boat. Makes me think of, you know, what it would have been like to be able to watch Grandpa actually rowing um, in the shell. Um, and being able to see one up close and personal is pretty exciting. The Husky Challenger is not a precise replica, but the museum says it's a testament to the rich rowing history here in Seattle. It's going to be a part of an exhibit at Mohai starting in November and running through next summer called Pulling Together a Brief History of Rowing in Seattle.